this is week six of HSK two and day four. This week has actually had some really hard material in it. And so today I'm going to take a look at a couple of points that are a little bit lighter, not quite as difficult. Uh, the first one is I'm going to talk about how to use a very familiar word in a different way. How to say easy to do. And so the way it works is you just put the word how before a verb. How, or usually it's hun hao, as you'll see in these examples, but that's just because Chinese likes to put hun before a predicate adjective because um, it sounds more natural. Uh, but anyway, the, it's, you put hao before a verb and it means easy to do that verb or that verb is easy to do. <clears throat> Let me give you a couple examples. 这个词, that means this word. 这个词的意思, this word's meaning. 很好懂. Dong, remember that? That means to understand. So that means that this word's meaning is very easy to understand, or it's very easy to understand this word's meaning. Uh, might be how we would actually say it in English, but literally it's this word's meaning is very easy to understand. Um, and so there we have it. So hao dong does not mean good understand. It means easy to understand. And Basically, the way you know that is you, you just remember that how next to a verb, before a verb, means easy to. Jacob, uh, here's another example. That's from All Set Learning. All of these are, actually. Jacob Han Zi. This Chinese character, Han Hao Xie. Han Hao Xie. Xie means to write. So what does this mean? This character is easy to write. This Chinese character is easy to write. Or it's easy to write this Chinese character. And then, Ping Guo Shou Ji. That means Apple cell phones. So Apple phones, Apple cell phones. 苹果手机, 现在很好买。现在 means uh, now, 很好买, my means to buy. So what does it mean? It means easy to buy. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, it could mean, it could mean, probably most likely, it means that it's not difficult to find them. It could also be talking about the price that the, I think, uh, you might, Maybe I should ask a Chinese person to verify, but I think it means it could be talking about the price too. It's easy to buy them because they're cheap, um, but uh, it it probably means easy to buy because they're they're easy to find. Uh, but anyway, the point is that how plus verb means easy to do that verb. Um, and then I also want to point out. Oh, uh, let me see. You can. You can. Um, you can flip it around. Let's take. Uh, uh, let's take this one. 这个汉字很好写. I could flip this around and say, and say, 写这个汉字很容易. All right, so 容易 means is, is, the, is the normal word for easy. But um, in this, when you put 好 before a verb, then it means that 好 means easy. But I could say 写这个汉字, writing this character, 很容易 is very easy. Does that make sense? So it's just another option, but I just wanted to point that out that it can be flipped around, but the, this is one way to say it. Um, and then also I need to point out that how before a certain class of verbs does not mean easy, it means good. And you you know you have heard a couple of these. How chert, how chert, what does that mean? It means tasty. It's actually an adjective um, that means tasty. How chert. If I say hao ting, do you know what that means? It means good to hear, so it means like it sounds good, good sounding maybe. Uh, if I say hao wen, it means one means to smell, so hao wen means like smells good. Um, hao kan, you've definitely seen that in some examples. Hao kan means good to see, it means it looks good. Um, it's an adjective meaning like good looking, but not in the same way we'd say good looking in English. Um, at least not always. You can say how can about a person, which would mean they're good looking, but you don't, we don't usually say good looking about, you know, a picture. That picture is really good looking. Uh, anyway, so that class of verbs is like sensing verbs, like your senses, like looking, hearing, um, smelling, uh, um, drink. Hao he means it, it, ta it, it drinks good. It, like the <laughs> It's good to drink. It tastes good, but we're talking about drink rather than how sure. Anyway, those are all um, sensing verbs, and when you put a hao before them, it, it doesn't mean 
easy to do, it means good to do it in, in the form of an adjective. And so that, those are exceptions to this concept, and it's important to point that out. Um, okay, that's it. That's how before verbs. In this segment, we're going to talk about some expanded uses of the very common word doll, which you've seen in many examples. Uh, actually, in fact, this week we just talked about it as being a, um, a result complement attached to kan or ting. Anyway, its basic meaning is to arrive. 我到了, I have arrived. Um, here's another example of that. 我到了办公室, I have arrived to or at the office. Uh, 我到了办公室, 办公室 means office. So that's the basic meaning, to arrive. But sometimes it means to go. Uh, the, uh, for example, imagine this scenario. You're on a train and um, you're, you're sitting next to somebody and you're having a, a, a get-to-know-you conversation and, and you say, 你到哪里? 你到哪里? Uh, that does not mean you have arrived to where. It means where are you going. So sometimes in that context, in certain contexts, it can actually mean like where are you headed to, something like that. Um, but there is another construction that is a little bit more, um, it's like something you kind of have to learn, uh, where the, what I just said is kind of the same grammar, but a little bit different meaning than this arrive. But here we have a different construction. We have, it, it, it really just means to go or come, but it's a different way to say it. Usually you say go to a place or lai, come to, you know, chu place or lai, place. But this is another way to say the same thing. It's dao, place, and then lai or chu. So the lai or chu actually comes after the place. And so it's dao, place, lai or chu. For example, 我到办公室去了. What does that mean? 我到办公室去了. That means that does not mean I have I arrived. I have arrived at the at the um, office. It means that I went to the office. 我到办公室去了. Where did you go? 我到办公室去了. Uh, here is another example. Uh, 今天到我家来. So today, 到我家, 我家 means my home. 来 means come. So today, come to my house. 好不好? 好不好, of course, is a tag question, meaning, is okay? Is that good? 可不可以? 好不好? 今天到我家来, so uh, today come to my house. 好不好? Does that make sense? So it's just 到, place, 来, or 去, to mean either to go to that place or to, um, to come to that place. Okay, it doesn't mean anything different from the, uh, the normal 去, place, or 来, place, um, a way to say it, it's just a different option. However, it does lend itself especially well to talking about the purpose because it kind of splits it up a little bit. For example, if I wanted to say, um, if I wanted to put a chur fan right after lai, to say, come to my house to eat today, hao, then what? Then it, it's kind of fun because it goes, today, jia. okay, so this kind of tells me the place, and then lie, chirfan, to come to eat. So it kind of, it, to me, it, it, and again, I could, you, we've learned this in NHSK1. I could say just, 今天来我家吃饭. Uh, There's nothing wrong with that. 来我家吃饭. That's perfectly fine. But, um, and it means the same thing. But uh, this kind of, I just feel like because of the way it splits it up, like, 到我家来吃饭. It kind of, um, uh, it, it kind of just flows really nicely. So there, there's that, there's that. Um, and that's all. That's a, that's a, the, the next video is a review video and we will be done with week six. Keep up the good work. We are making it.